Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my home. Welcome to my coffee station. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Grab your coffee. We're gonna chat about how to do a coffee station on a budget. Now I had done a video on my coffee station, but I have revamped it, I've moved it, I'm tweaking, I'm doing, I'm decluttering a little bit and just trying to get a change of pace in the house. You know, you get tired of the same old, same old, same old. So we have, and I will show you more in detail, but I have a hutch and okay, so we're talking on a budget here, right? Whether you have money to spend or you have money to save, we all want to do things on a budget. Budget is good. Budget is very good. Doing things on a frugal level is even better. So what what can we do to save money? Well, I would say don't save money on buying a cheap coffee pot. If you're going to do something, get yourself a good coffee pot, whatever good means to you. Um, we have bought some cheapy ones and we paid the price. So, you know, I would say don't skimp on the coffee pot because obviously that's what it's all about is coffee. But on the rest of the things, you can go cheapy. I have a video coming out. If you haven't seen it already, you will on things that I buy at the thrift store. You know, I'm a thrifter. I go all the time. I get things, get things on clearance, go to Walmart, go to Dollar General, go to the Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree. Good stuff at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so the cabinet I have is free because somebody was throwing it out. So I got a free cabinet. It had a big hutch top. We used it for a while for dishes. And now we use it for storage and we use it at the top for the coffee station and we got rid of the hutch top. So maybe do some garbage picking, you know, people throw stuff out on the side of the road, Facebook and all the rest have freebie sites that you can look at and get yourself a nice hutch or improvise, find a piece of furniture you're not using and say, Hey, I got to use this for a coffee station. Why do I have a coffee station? I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Number one is, and you're going to see, here's my little turntable that I keep my K cups on. All right. I have, see some holes in there. That just proves to you that we use this on a daily basis. This coffee station is here. Number one for my family, my husband and my son, my oldest son and my daughter-in-law, we all drink coffee. All of us love coffee, but the three of us that are currently living in the home are avid coffee drinkers. So I want my family to be able to come up and in the morning and get a nice cup of coffee, but I make it an experience. How many of us go to a coffee shop and love getting the experience, the smells, the flavors, the different varieties of things? That's the experience I want in my home for my family. I think so many of us tend to cheap out on our family's needs, wants, and desires because we're doing for others or we have other things to do or other charities and whatnot. You know what? Your family should be priority. Number one, treat your family like visitors and treat your visitors like family and you'll be in a good place in your life. So I want this coffee station for me and for my family to enjoy having coffee. So I'm going to, um, let me explain a few things I have here and elsewhere, what it includes. And then I'm just going to quickly show you a few things. Of course, decor can matter. Decor for me, at least makes it. My husband and son probably don't really know the pictures I have up here. If you ask them, they might not remember, but they will know when there's nothing up here because it's too bare. We are not minimalist. We enjoy things where all three of us are very creative people. And when you're creative, those things in your home just make you happy and bring you joy. So I'll be showing you everything that's up on my wall is thrift, thrift everything. We have a Keurig machine over here. We use that all the time. Ours had broken. We got a cheapy one. It lasted three months. We went back and, you know, invested in a Keurig. K cups are expensive. I get them on sale. I get them usually for $5.99 when they go on sale. They still, in 2022 in December, still go on sale for $5.99, depending on the store, to $7.99. But you can still get them on sale. This is quick and easy, out the door, going to work, whatever. Husband needs a quick cup of coffee. This is what we go to. He also has an espresso maker if he wants to make a fancy coffee. We also have an iced coffee um, 
container thing that you can put in the refrigerator. We also have a percolator. So when we have the time and we wanna enjoy a nice per cup of coffee, if I'm off in the morning or after dinner, we can do that. I just, a few weeks ago, got a French press. Am in love with the French press. The only problem is, it takes time. I don't always have time. So I've had many of you say, Kara gets too expensive at K-Cups. It is, but it's cheaper than me going to Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. So I can grab a quick cup of coffee, have a flavored cream, and be happy about it. And it keeps us happy. Keeps us out of Starbucks and Dunkin'. Not always, but, you know, more often than not. So we have that. I also have, now this is set up. You're going to see it. Nothing's cleaned. We didn't tidy this up for you guys. This is the way it looks. So we keep a uh, water jug over here. We used to own a business and a coffee, uh, of all things we owned a coffee business. We used to service local bakeries and florists and businesses with coffee. And that was one way that we made money on the side. And we've kept two of the um, jugs from that from 30 years ago now, right? Yeah. About 30 years ago, 30 plus years ago. We still have our two water jugs one we keep in the kitchen for things and one we keep by the coffee. And if you see the rust on the bottom, yeah, this is not dirty, this is rust. That's how much rust is in my water. So yeah, rust. So anyway, we have a carry. we keep the K-Cups. Up here, I do have a sign from the Dollar Tree. Life begins with coffee, people. Keep this in mind, Dollar Tree. You want home decor and you can't afford it, go to the Dollar Tree. Behind the sign, you can't see it. Behind the sign, we keep a lighter for candles. This is one of my favorite gadgets. So it, it you charge it up with a USB. I don't even, you plug it in here and you can charge it up. No more having to get lighter fluid, matches, and those, you know, the clickers. We still use those for candles, but you slide this up. The lights come on. You can see the lights come on. You press the button and you can very faintly see that flame and see a little smoke there. Oh yeah, I could light a candle with that right now. So I love this. We keep that behind the sign here on the counter and you'll see that in a moment. This way I always know where to find it. And I think what I'm gonna do is just bring the camera over and show you and let you see the rest of the items and explain what we have. We also have a refrigerator right here, very close. If you saw my, I did a um, kind of an advert video for new air and they were gracious and sponsored a refrigerator for me. And I love this refrigerator. We have moved it from where I had had it, moved it closer to the coffee station. And we keep additional foods in there, but we keep our coffee creamers in there. On top of it, I have storage for our coffee cups and we do change them seasonally. I'll talk more about that over just a little ways because we're in my living room, which is near my back door, as you can see over here. And it's an awkward spot, we make it work. But then I have my flavor teas and some other things, which I will show you as well. So grab your coffee. We're gonna be moving and looking around my coffee station. Okay, so let me just show you some of the pictures. This one here was a puzzle. You can see the little puzzle pieces in there. And we found this at Goodwill. I think it was Goodwill. I don't know, we got it at a thrift store. It's probably, what do you say, Graham, 20 years old? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, we paid a couple dollars. That's all we would pay. But it's all different types of coffees all around it with a coffee cup and a coffee grinder. And somebody had put this puzzle together and framed it. And we bought it for a couple dollars. At the very top, see those little wood blocks? Cocoa, coffee house, hot tea and coffee. They're four individual blocks. They are literally just sitting on top of the frame. I got those at the Target dollar spot for $3. And then we have this little greenery here that was to fill a gap and we had to hang our pictures funny uh long story but anyway the pictures are here and so i needed to fill this for now i do want to get a long thin tiny little wicker basket for that but for now this is great tis the season we can hang it up that was a dollar 25 at a thrift store then i have this beautiful picture i did pay 9.95 but it is a quilt in the frame done in amish country and I bought it at an Amish thrift store. So I just picked that up recently. Of course, you have to have a mirror to go out the door, check the lipstick. There is our back door. Too funny. We still have our fall wreath on the outside and we have our poinsettias on the inside here, but that's the back door. And then we have this little coffee sign 
and this was one dollar and it looks like a vintage sign we got that thrifting again our k cups and our Keurig and our coffee maker and then uh, yep there is the sign let me just adjust the camera here so there is the sign i talked about and look behind it there you go there's our lighter nobody has to say it so what kind of things do i keep up here well this is just a little let me take these off for the moment this is just a little stand that you had seen at one of my thrift shops and i have used this for so many things but right now it houses some sugar and i also picked up a little wood spoon for the sugar my son likes that and i picked this up for a dollar this was brand new in the package at a thrift store i just recently picked that up for the honey so i like to keep honey here this i picked up at an amish store and this is the best honey ever oh my word it's so good this is for our tea i also got hooked on hot honey for my daughter-in-law she got me hooked on this this is great in tea as well if you have a cough or a cold and you drink some tea with that hot honey you're going to be doing just fine as you can see i told you we did not clean this for you there are this is a little bucket i keep our garbage in here k cups what do you do i put them right in here we have this as a coffee stirrer. My son and husband love this. I get these wood sticks at Dollar Zone. I get 150 or 250 for a dollar. I forget. This is a coffee mug. I just love. We are perfect together. And that just is explaining me and my husband. This little turntable I got at um, Target Dollar Spot for five dollars. My son does love some flavored. Um, what do you call it? syrups he can put in and so i just labeled this one day i was practicing with my label maker trash but this way when company comes or we are here they have everything they need right here i have a nice this is my favorite floral arrangement i paid five dollars for years ago whether it's fall or not i leave it up year round i love it we have a little thomas edison light i've recently got a little teapot for myself for when i want to make myself a pot of tea and then over here i have on this little wood turntable in here what do we have we have little packets of honey and some flavored drinks there in here we have some instant coffee sometimes i have people who like instant coffee and if jan from new york city if you're listening ever come to visit me i have instant coffee for you here i put in candy canes uh the candy cane spoon so when you make hot cocoa and then we have alternative sugars for those that might need that then under here is just plain and simple storage i'll open this one to show you that's where I keep all my paper products. So if somebody is coming, I can grab a paper plate, paper cup. You can see down there I have a container of non-dairy powdered creamer. So I can quickly grab that. If I have somebody that cannot have dairy, they have a powdered creamer. I've got those wood sticks you can see there. Just keep everything stored in here and that's it. The top here, I have some teacups and I have those stored in there just for a quick grab. You know, need a teacup. Under here, I have some extra spare coffee, and you can see extra K cups and things like that. So that's just a quick storage area there. Now, let me bring you over to our refrigerator area and also our tea area. This is our little refrigerator area above it. I love anything vintage and antique, so I have an antique phone here, and I have a nice little sign up here, home that is from the Dollar Tree. And then my girlfriend, one of my friends who I thrift with gave me this. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. And for those of you that are Christians, you can give me an amen in the comments. Coffee, anyone? Absolutely. Let's do some coffee. So we have our coffee mugs here. And these are Walmart ones. This one was last year. I got this. I forget what I paid. It was cheapy, cheapy, cheapy. But it reminds me of our son, Gavin. You know, we have to have alternative Santas here and blended family and just some Christmas coffee mugs to make it even more than merry. And then we have a little sign to remind us as we get our coffee, your attitude determines your direction. What a great sign to have first thing in the morning. And then our coffee down here, and then this, whoop, this one's upside down. Turn that right side up. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. And then inside, real quick, we have our coffee creamers and sodas and things like that. So that we keep literally right next to the coffee station. And now let me show you my tea station and other things that I store for the coffee. This is my tea station and this is above it home gather some vintage coffee pots and some, what do you call those tea diffusers and 
a vintage teapot that is Royal Dalton that my husband picked up at a thrift shop many years ago. I have this little bird uh, knickknack that my son bought me when he was about six or eight years old at a thrift store. My oldest son is now 32 and I still have it. And then my daughter-in-law picked up some of these little uh, English things when they were over in England. And that little guy there, he's a gnome from Scotland. I got him when I was 12 years old and I still have him. And then be still and know that I am God. I need those reminders all the time. So right here at the very top, this is just a long basket that I have in everything, give thanks. Again, need reminders. I had done a, a preview on this particular thermos. There is a coupon code if you're interested, but we use that if we make like coffee in the percolator or in the um, French press, we can put it in there and keep it hot. We've had a few people under the weather. My husband was not well for a week, a week or so back, so I kept some cup of soups and this tea. If you need a tea to make you feel good when you don't feel good, get this tea. It's at Walmart. You can also get it on Amazon. It's fantastic. So I've just kept them handy. I also keep in here some homemade chai tea. These are my jars. I love to get. These are whoop, knocking things over here. The planter's peanuts. You can see the guy at the bottom. I get these for a dollar when I go thrifting. I collect them. I just love them. We have some hot cocoa bombs. We have some flavored hot cocoa pumpkin spice and peppermint getting ready for the season. I have an overflow of K-cups right in here so we can refill our uh, K-cup station when needed. And this is just on a little rack here. Yep, you can see we'll call her Olivia so she doesn't answer to her real name, but my cookbooks are here. Yes, I'm old fashioned. Yes, I love Pinterest, but yes, I love cookbooks. Sister made this for me at home with Lynn Wilson. So I have hung that here and then underneath here, I put a little curtain. Why? Because, let me show you, I have all my extra coffee cups and cups and serving dishes that I don't want everybody to see. So I can just cover that up so ever nicely and they don't need to see all my stuff. Then over here, you've seen this before, is my tea box. I have a little vintage tea kettle here. Put that to the side. If company comes, they can help themselves to tea. And then down here, I have all kinds of flavor teas all the way down, 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 down. I have medicinal teas down here. We just keep an array of teas. And right now, what I do need to do, because it is the right season, I do have those hot cocos over here. I usually keep packets of hot cocoa also over near the uh, coffee area. And they go in those glass jars. I have some in the kitchen right now in the canisters. But I think at this point, I need to bring them out. And this way, when company comes, or family, my guys, if my guys want a cup of hot cocoa at the end of the day, they can help themselves. So I hope you enjoyed my coffee station on a budget. The basket is thrifted. That jar is a dollar. These vintage coffee pots are all thrifted. All this is thrifted. This tea cabinet I found in the garbage. So people, listen, my cookbooks are usually 25 cents at um, thrift stores. I don't spend a lot of money whether again you have money to save or money to spend either way we all want to be on a budget this is a great way to put together a coffee station leave a comment below i'd love to know if you have any ideas i can add to my coffee station or anything you'd like to say i'd love to connect with you in those comments thanks so much for coming over and we'll catch you all on the next video